Behind its century-old facade, Her Majesty's Theatre is getting much more than a makeover. This is an overhaul. Time-lapse videos capturing its dramatic transformation. A new proscenium arch and first-level balcony are already in place. Like its opening as the Tivoli in 1913, the new look Madge will have three levels of seating, thankfully with more legroom. Back to three tiers of seating, so right up just under 1,500 seats, which is the absolute perfect size for a lyric theatre to see, you know, to have uh, any major musical actually. Though little remains of the old theatre, the autograph wall featuring messages from stars including Whoopi Goldberg has been saved. It's been painstakingly removed, stone by stone. It'll be recreated backstage. Some original Edwardian features removed by the 1970s will also be recreated. But the old problem of not enough toilets or bars will be no more. There are toilets on every single level, fully accessible to, you know, for wheelchairs, get a drink on every level. You may not ever have your name up in lights here at Her Majesty's, but you can get your name on the back of a seat. The latest fundraising campaign gives everyone the opportunity to buy their own piece of Her Majesty's Theatre. For a plaque on the back of a seat for 25 years, it's just $3,000. For three years, it's just $1,000. For corporates, a 25-year plaque costs $5,000. The Adelaide Festival Foundation's hoping it'll raise $5 million with the help of a range of ambassadors, including Donald Bradman's granddaughter, acclaimed singer Greta Bradman. Her grandfather actually wrote a song which was performed in 1931 on this very stage at Her Majesty's. It's set to reopen by mid-next year. Jane Doyle, 7 News.